Nowadays, people spend so much time watching videos on YouTube and Netflix that it's just too easy to spend five hours a day watching stuff you'll probably never remember. So my solution for everyone is to watch faster. This way, you can save time to do other things or even better, watch more videos. On YouTube, there's actually a function right on the video where you can increase or decrease your speed. However, for other videos, there's actually no other solution. So I recommend something called the Video Speed Controller, which is a Google Chrome extension that's completely free. This way, you can actually increase the speed for videos and movies for other sort of platforms like Netflix and you know your typical movie downloads. The great thing about using this controller is that you can actually increase your speed faster than two times. So it's really up to you and you can actually increase the speed of your YouTube videos greater than two times. For instance, myself, I actually watch some of these YouTube videos at three times speed. So I can really watch 45 minute videos in 15 minutes. And in a day, I actually spend on average two hours on YouTube, but at two or three times speed, I'm really taking in four to six hours of content. Now you probably tried faster speeds, but you probably didn't like it because the people were, or the voices were too fast and it kind of sounded like gerbils talking. Well, my solution to this is to really just turn on the captions. When you have the ability to hear and read at the same time, it's actually a little bit more easier to follow along. Even if you're not planning to use two or three times speed, maybe increasing your speed by, you know, 10, 20%, it does save you a bit more time. So for instance, I watch episodes of Game of Thrones and they are one hour long, so 60 minutes. And just by increasing the speed by 10%, I can shave off six minutes. And if say I'm watching a whole series and there's 10 episodes, then I really save myself a whole episode of time. Now, the greatest thing about increasing your speed is that you're able Able to hit the main points of a video faster and you're not really being bored out of your mind by putting the video in the background. But on the downside of things, you do have to pay attention when you're watching something in such a high speed just because the content or what is being presented just passes by super quick. Now there are other drawbacks to watching speeds at such a higher pace. For instance, you can't really watch videos with friends or family anymore because now you think videos are too slow and people you're watching with can't keep up. Another is it might maybe affect the way you talk and listen to other people because you're so used to watching so much in fast speed. I mean, you maybe even start talking faster or if people are talking to you and they are talking regularly, but it's actually too slow for you in real life, you might feel a little bit more agitated. And lastly, I just wouldn't recommend faster speeds for some videos and movies, you know, such as horror and action. Those kind of need to be slow just because you need to appreciate the suspense or the action that's kind of going on.